Landscaping, not coincidentally, is under the shaded areas which used to provide the homeless with some relief from the hot Florida sun. And we've seen by means of trespassing affidavits, of which there are over 1,600 currently on file with the city, and arbitrary harassment, an ever-increasing gentrification of public space, which renders the homeless class human beings unworthy of existing, let alone receiving a helping hand. Out of about 1,600 trespassing affidavits now on file with the city, over 50 are for public or governmental institutions, including several public libraries, an assortment of government buildings, including this one. And perhaps the most contradictory of all is that several offices of the Housing Authority have trespassing affidavits to preclude the presence of those who need housing, the homeless. We stand by the principle that housing is a human right and that everyone deserves to be treated with dignity. In a city and county racked by foreclosure and unemployment, it's beyond short-sighted to treat the homeless as this city does. It's cruel and unusual punishment. We who are homeless and their advocates must insist on this. Stop criminalizing life-sustaining activity. Stop harassing homeless folk peacefully occupying, eating, and sleeping in public space. Overturn the panhandling ban, as was recently done in Sarasota, and provide housing for every homeless individual. Finally, homelessness and indifference to its reality is rooted in a system that places profit before human need. Until we collectively address that fundamental systemic inequity, we're going to have more and more people slipping into poverty and homelessness. The problem of homelessness that you, the city commission, abhor is the very problem that you help maintain by dancing to one tune alone. Keep the tourism dollars flowing. I came here tonight under the impression, which came from your city clerk's office, that other people would be able to speak to this agenda item as they are to any other item on the agenda and why citizen presentations get treated uh, to a second class status on your agenda is a little bit beyond me and quite frankly it's a violation of any principle of democracy that I'm familiar with. A lot of people came here tonight to share what they had to say about this issue, people whose experience is much more intimately related to the reality of homelessness than mine. And I, I want to compel you to let these people speak. No, we're not. In fact, you got about 10 seconds to wrap up. That's fine. OK, well. If, if there was an item on the agenda, we'd give everybody an opportunity to speak. And, so what's, and why is it? Let, let me just, Mr. Weinberg, we gave everybody an opportunity to speak when we had any agenda item here to address the homeless. This is merely your comments on the city. That's not an agenda item. So well, that's your comments. So we so are. We are uh, done with this item. We're welcome to sign up. Any other homeless items? We will give every one of you an opportunity to speak. How do speak. we get to sign up to speak? And how do we talk about the veterans that are coming home you, now? You can come back at another meeting to sign up. That'd be I great. just tried to sign up, and they told me I couldn't. Well, could we limit the number of sign -ups? Mr. Weinberger, had, he could have offered you his space sometime. But that's the way it is. So that means that's a, you guys are just uh, Next up is the uh, Resolution 1. This yeah. forum is the epitome of the opposite of Thank democracy. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.